up everybody this is the mad rapper I'm doing a little bit of multitasking right now um, you guys are overflowing the inbox with good suggestions for videos um, you know asking me questions so I just wanted to address a little bit today while I cruise around on this rainy cold day so I can't even count how many times people hit me up and say, why am I a hater? Let me explain to you what hating means to me. Sometimes we have opinions that differ from the masses. Sometimes we have opinions that people don't necessarily want to hear. Usually when they don't want to hear your opinion or it clashes with their whole world, they call you a hater. You know, if somebody thinks they can sing and you fucking say you cannot sing, but everybody else around them that loves them says they can sing, they say you are a hater and that's why you say they can't sing. You jealous of me. Then they go to American Idol and they try to sing and they get booed off the stage. Basically. Basically. So hate is to each his own. Now, like I said before, there are people that just uh, jealous of you and hate just to hate, you know. Um, the, the worst kind of hate that, that I don't like is uh, MC hate. And let me explain to you what this means. Let's say you got an MC that uh, disses another MC. Now, in this day and age, people forgot what hip-hop was all about. Uh, people are more so on this party bop bullshit, you know, and they uh, think it should be all happy, love, love, joy, joy, all that shit. Well, hip hop ain't about that and wasn't made like that. Hip hop, in a way, was made with love, you know, because niggas didn't want to be killing niggas, so they said, you know, we can battle verbally. And they made the battle up. It's hip hop, man. He's battling. So. It's, it's competition. If an MC come in another MC and want to spit and diss him, he's not necessarily hating. He's not necessarily hating. That's all. It comes with the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys know I, I be spitting. And anybody that feels like they want to get into the octagon with me verbally, they can do it. You know, I have no beefs or uh, quarrels about that shit. You know, they can do that shit. You know? But uh, MC hate means it's sort of like a discredit type hate. MC hate would be like, let's say somebody diss me and um, they nice. And instead of me giving them props and saying they nice, I discredit them by saying they garbage. When I know damn well they nicer than me probably. That would be MC hate. I can't stand MC hate. To me, that's the worst kind of hate there is. See, a nigga get at you, he rip you, he's spitting hella bars, he rips you apart. So you go ahead and you lead the audience on, your fans on, by saying, listen to this bullshit ass song, this guy tried to diss me, oh my God, it's horrible. Now, when they hear it, since they got love for you, they might think, oh, that shit's dope. But they, they, ain't gonna, they ain't gonna show that other MC love because they in your corner. See me, I'm different. You do that shit to me. You tell me that somebody sucks, they dissed you, I'm gonna listen to that shit. And if your excuse for not clapping back is that it was garbage and that nigga's nice, you a bitch. And that shit ain't even cool. I don't let that shit fly. You can ask people on my Facebook. I ain't gonna say his name, but you can ask people on my Facebook. Nigga, you fucking vouch some shit is horrible because a nigga got in your ass and you don't want to spit. Nigga, I'm a clown you. And, and I'll troll the fuck out of you because that shit ain't right, man. That shit ain't fucking cool. Especially when you got teeny bop ass fans that don't know what real hip hop is. To me, what I do is not really totally hate. I just speak my opinion. And a lot of times it is uh, not what everybody wants to hear. You got to get over that. That's part of that's part of being an evolved species. We are evolved species here. So I mean, we have opinions, 
and and that's the thing about you know society, and especially in music, that is hard for for me to deal with is because everybody likes what they gonna like. You know, you have your own taste, man. So when I speak out about something, when I say something is whack, when I say something is garbage, I try to keep it my opinion, and I don't really think that everybody will agree with me, but I'm putting it out there. You know, I'm speaking out. Without an opinion, we're just mindless drones following the next man. And a lot of people, a lot of a lot of you guys out there, I'm sorry, a lot of you guys are mindless drones. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. Before my younger years, I was a mindless drone. It, it depended what it was. Like, when it came to rap, at the beginning, I really didn't know a lot about what made rap cool, you know, what made it made it good. So, you know, I started putting my blueprint together, like, what makes rap cool? Like, what should I look for to know if somebody can rap? What do I look for to know if I can rap? The first thing I noticed was uh, having charisma. Like, when you spit, and you spitting on the beat, you, you putting on a show somewhat. Like, people have to believe what you're saying. Like, the way you talk has to be a certain way so people can believe you. And then, it was on beat, staying on beat, really. If you can ride the beat, man, you can fucking spit. I bandwagoned for the first, you know, few years when I got into hip hop, not knowing where I was at and not knowing where hip hop would take me. I remember listening to like Masterpiece, uh, Ghetto D, and thinking that was a shit. Uh, that was probably when I was like 16, 17. And then uh, all of a sudden, I, I, I learned about Bad Boy, because I'm from Oklahoma. So you guys thinking like, damn, you didn't know about this? I'm from Oklahoma. So in like 98, 97, 98, that's when I switched my swag up. That's when I heard like Mace, P. Diddy. It changed my perception of rap. Like, because Master P, you know, that shit was on some grimy type shit that I never really fucked with. But everybody else was bumping it. Like, I remember we used to, before football games, uh, listen to the, you know, I'm a soldier, and all that, and get crunk and shit, you know, because that's what everybody liked at the time, you know, so I was bumping that shit, I was, I thought that shit was the dopest shit ever, and then I had my eyes open, and I could say by MTV, where I finally listened to some bad boy, and was like, damn, and, and, Mind you, I'm only talking about my, you know, teenage years. Because, I mean, I was listening to Snoop when I was younger. You know, when Snoop dropped, I was like probably 12 and shit. It was like, I want to say like 93, 94. I was shit. I was listening to like Snoop and West Coast shit. You know, that was the norm. But then when I actually started recognizing, hey, I like rap. I want to be a rapper. I need to figure this shit out, you know, then I was listening to, like, Ghetto D, and it was, it was cool, um, I listened to that for a minute, Hot Boys, shit like that, and then got on that East Coast tip, and started being like, damn, this is a whole different life than, you know, from what, what Master P was talking about, totally different, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, uh, everybody has their opinion of what they like because even me, I go back and listen to some of the old stuff that I used to really, really, really like and the shit is sort of whack to me because I've evolved as a person and I have totally different thoughts and, and hopes and dreams for hip hop. Uh, the other day I seen a video of DMX being interviewed and the, the, the interview guy he said you know, what do you think of the state of hip hop now? And DMX said it sucks. And a lot of kids commented on World Star was talking about DM DMX, you a crackhead, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, DMX made millions on crack. Shut the fuck up. This nigga's a crackhead who's telling you the truth. Telling you the truth. That nigga's telling you the fucking truth. Hip hop sucks. Like, you still got some people that are lyrical, but nigga, pop in a fucking CD or some. 90s music, man. Like, listen to some 90s hip hop. I mean, I'm, I know I'm old. Shit. But listen to some 90s hip hop. Like, the hip hop today is so easy. Like, I don't have to think. 
I remember listening to like Jada Kiss and shit. Hearing metaphors that like make me think like, damn, how how did he come up with that shit? He said, tw and he twisted back. He, oh man, it's crazy. I remember shit like that. And now it's just so, so basic. So, so basic. It's, it's embarrassing it's so basic. But I mean, I guess that's what sells. I've been listening to Local Cats. I, last night, me and my girlfriend was chilling and we started listening. I was doing some research on a uh, on an artist that I'm gonna talk about for my uh, the Mad Rapper show. And we was doing some research by listening to this, this chick's shit. And then it took me on, you know, you get on YouTube and you be watching one thing and it take you here and you end up all the way around YouTube looking at all this shit. I just got into some local Oklahoma fucking music and, and I was depressed. I was depressed. I'm nine times out of 10, nigga. I'm telling y'all this right now. If you artists and you want me to review you, nine times out of 10, if you can't rap better than me, I'm probably going to say you ain't that good. That's just life. You know, I'm not I'm not being an asshole. I'm saying if, if you rapping in slow motion, hardcore nigga, and you ain't doing nothing to spark my interest, like you just sound stupid. It's like, nigga, you going to run the fucking hook for four bars, nigga? You going to run the fucking hook for four bars, nigga? And then in the middle of your verse, you going to repeat your shit? You gonna repeat two bars, nigga? You lazy motherfuckers. Dude, just because it's accepted don't mean you gotta accept it. You know what I'm saying? Just because everybody else is doing that shit don't mean you gotta do it. Shit. That's the laziest shit. I haven't, uh, I haven't put on some beats, like some beats from some local guy and um, all his beats was made for that. Like, that's why he rapped like that, I guess. But I started trying to force myself to spit like that. And the shit was fucking hard as fuck. Like, I could not stop my shit from being complex. I mean, in my rhyme style, don't get me wrong, I ain't, I ain't bigging up myself like that. I ain't saying I'm mad lyrical, nigga, because, I mean, I'm an expert freestyler. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like metaphors and shit, that ain't my kind of, that ain't what I do. I don't make metaphors. So I ain't extra lyrical. I'm by no means like super hip hop, you know, savvy ass rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I am from the South and I can speed my shit up a little bit. I can make my shit seem really not lazy. Because a lot of times, like what I heard last night was laziness. It was like, the beat comes on, we running the hook four times, not four times, but four bars. Then, then I'ma come in, I'ma spit in the middle of my verse. I'ma repeat a line three, four times and shit. The same fucking line. And that to me, that's just lazy shit. It's like, nigga, really? Shit, you didn't even give me a 16, man. It's all about the hook. And I'm ranting. I know I'm ranting. Y'all like, damn, this nigga mad. But, dude, it's all about the fucking hook. You know, I listened to this one song. It was like gas pedal. Right? And I know you guys have heard that shit. Hook, dope as fuck, right? Hook, beat, dope as fuck. But this nigga's verse was garbage. Take your favorite rapper. Listen to their shit. And then listen to, like, fucking gin and juice. Listen to fucking gin and juice, nigga. The, the shit's still basic. The shit's still easy. But the shit's still complex. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit he was saying shit. And it, it wasn't no bullshit and he didn't repeat himself. And the hook was two bars. You know what I'm saying? The hook is two bars so you can give the niggas a 16. I remember one time I seen a video where Waka Flocka was talking to, to an underground artist I believe it was Kevin Durant's artist here in Oklahoma. Uh, I think his name was Privilege. And he was telling him, run the hook long and give him 12 bars. And I was like, man, I hope that nigga don't do that shit because that shit's gay. You know what I'm saying? You can't rap, nigga? You, you can't rap, nigga? 16 fucking bars, man. 
hip hop today does suck, man. I listen to a lot of songs that is just whack. Like there are people that I doubt it that are rising up and being like great as fuck. But some people are like, dude, man, why even do this shit? Famous motherfuckers making money. Suck it. So I get props to local people for trying. But if you don't fucking really be trying, nigga, if you just carbon copying yourself after what you hear and what you like, and you ain't stepping out the box with your skills, nigga, you suck balls. Mad rapper said it, you suck balls. Shit. Doing that motherfucking repeat your shit over and over again just because you heard screw and, and, and niggas in Texas do that shit. Get the fuck out of here. So I believe I was answering a question about hating. And, and yeah, I, I guess I am a hater. I guess I am. I'm sorry. That's what I do. Yeah. When you see a talk show and they interviewing people, it's always a really good thing. You know, it's never mean. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you see an interview on the news where they basically interrogating somebody, that should be raw. But when you watching a talk show like Late Night and all that shit, you watch, watching Leno and shit, you know, he don't bring nobody out and just rip them. Because that, that's not what you're supposed to do. Like, they're there for promotion. You know, so you don't rip them. Me, I'm keeping it 100. Like, regardless of how Jay Leno feel about his guests, he ain't going to keep it 100 because he's doing this for the people. You know, he letting he, he know people going to tune in and want to fucking, you know, learn about this actor or this musician. You know, and so when he do the interview, he's being non-biased. He's being neutral. You know, when you get in the news sometimes, you're supposed to be neutral, but a lot of times they fucking, you you holding the same beliefs of your station. If your station believe a certain way, you sort of riding on that shit and getting those answers that you need. You know, those you asking those questions that you need answered so y'all can do y'all shit. But me, I'm telling you my opinion is 100% how I feel. So if I see some shit, I hear some shit that ain't right, I'm going to let you know. Because I don't give a fuck. Like, it does not bother me. You know? The way I feel is niggas, niggas hated me and didn't like me in, in, in any way. You know, growing up, even in my adult years, motherfuckers, you know, hated on me and shit. And I just feel like, dude, at least they hating on me and don't like me now because of what I like to do. So, fuck it. I'm in a school zone right now. I'm trying not to go over 25 so I don't get pulled over. Because that would be a crazy video. Because I would not turn the camera off. And you guys would, you guys would see the mad rap act super fake, too. It would be funny as fuck. You'd be like, damn, this nigga... This nigga went all the way white. This nigga went all the way white. If a cop pulled me over right now, y'all be like, damn. This nigga be talking all that shit. And he went all the way white. He blended in in Edmond so good, we thought the nigga was from Edmond. It's like, hello, officer. How's it going? But I hope I answered that question for you guys. All those fucking damn near 30-ass emails y'all hit me up with. Talking about why you such a hater. And I got a question to you guys. And then I'm going to... I'm going to wrap it up because I've been going pretty long on this. Explain to me why somebody making an opinion about somebody you like is uh, so bad. Why does that anger you so much? You know what I'm saying? Because because that's the problem with motherfuckers, right? I, I've talked to people not only about music, but other shit in general. And I can't fucking stand people that have their opinion and don't want to listen. See, I can have my opinion, but I'll listen to a motherfucker. I'll dissect your shit. If you fucking say, you know, the sky is blue because, you know, it's just that way, I'm going to break it down to you why it's blue. You know, if you don't believe me, then that's your bad. But I ain't going to get mad at you. I'm going to still listen to your explanation. And a lot of times people don't want to listen. A lot of times people are stuck in a mode where they think what they think is right 
And then if you come against that shit, you know, you a fucktard, man. So why do people take up for artists that are making millions? You know, nine times out of ten, the A&Rs and the fucking producers and shit will already know this nigga's garbage. But he's getting money. So, I mean, it don't matter. And that's another thing. I'm sorry. I was going to end this shit. Now I'm pissed. I was looking through my fucking comments. Why y'all motherfuckers say I can't talk shit about somebody just because they get money? Bitch! Are you fucking serious? I can't talk a shit about Chief Keith because he getting money? Really? Really? I can't talk about somebody that got money. You motherfuckers... I would never open my motherfucking mouth and say that to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I would never open my mouth and say that to anybody. That's stupid. It makes you look dumb. Hey, why you roasting him, nigga? He getting money. So? He getting money because belligerently dumb motherfuckers like you keep copping his shit. If he would stand up and want more, niggas like Chief Keith wouldn't get no money. I'm sorry. I don't get props to now, motherfucker, that I can rap better. I'm 33, nigga. I'm 33. Any 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 up and coming artist that I can spit better than, I don't give props to you, hardcore nigga, because you can do better. So even famous motherfuckers, if if you burly doing the shit and and you getting props and being rich, nigga, I'm still gonna get at you. If I think something's gay. Now, there's a lot of motherfuckers that have shit that is dope. And I give them they just props, man. It might be Slowski. So please tell me why you guys take up for artists. Artists don't need y'all's help taking up for them. They ain't taking up for you when they make garbage. So when niggas like me say something about it, don't hit me up. I mean, well, I don't want to say it like that. Now, at the end of my videos, I say whether you agree or you don't, comment below and let me know. And I want you to comment below and let me know. Just don't tell me that I can't say some shit about a nigga sucking because he rich. Like, nigga, tell me why that nigga don't suck. That, that, what kind of fucking equation is that? What is that? You don't agree with me because that nigga rich? Eat a dick that's stupid. Seriously. That is dumb. You know, now when I say don't hit me up, what I mean is don't email me anger shit. Like, damn near every video I, I've made, somebody emails me some angry shit. You know, they don't want to put it in the comment where everybody else can see them act like a fucking fool. But niggas be hitting me up some angry ass shit. Talking about how dare you, you motherfucker. You talk about blah, blah. Especially when I, when I talked about that Kyle guy a long time ago. I had so many fucking, like, white boys hitting my email up, calling me all types of niggas and jocking a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Going in, wanting to kill me. You know, nigga wishing me to be dead because I made that review on that shit and said he was, he was like the new Drake because he was like Drake. The nigga in the song even said, they say I sound like Drake, but I don't, nigga. They say you sound like Drake because you do. We got to be more logical, people. This is my first ever vlog. I think I, I think I like this. I think I like talking to you guys like this and ranting. So, um, whether you agree with me or you don't, comment below and let me know. This is the Mad Rapper. And I'm out.